feel like I'm thinking about it mainly as a text prediction tool. And what you're saying is, well, behind that text prediction are numbers. Yes, right? exactly. Okay. To me, like large language models are a miracle in computation. Like when, when you really think about it, it's kind of nuts that you can take something as complicated as English language and meaning even within English language and then embed it into a bunch of numbers and then have an output that's also a bunch of numbers but kind of makes sense. I think that's like really something that wasn't trivial to me five years ago, but now obviously it's like possible and it's like very capable, mm. right? Um, a large language model or any neural network at the end of the day, it's a giant mathematical function, okay? It takes as input a bunch of numbers and then it outputs a bunch of numbers so even when we're like typing in a text prompt that text prompt gets embedded they say into a bunch of like vectors which are just like directions and lengths in in the mathematical world okay so you can think of them as a bunch of arrows every single word is a bunch of arrows and then what the large language model does is take all of those arrows and then manipulate them. It's adding them, subtracting them, multiplying them. And then out comes another set of arrows, which is the probability of the next word. Okay. And whichever one's the highest probable arrow, that's the one that gets output. So really, when I think about like LLMs or any neural network, it's a mathematical machine that is manipulating numbers okay. at its heart. Yeah. That's what it's doing. And that's interesting because I 